Hi everyone, welcome to this technical deep dive on OpenSearch MCP server. My name is Kritar Dodia and in this video I will show you how to integrate AI systems seamlessly with Amazon OpenSearch service using the model context protocol. These integrations are becoming increasingly important as more organizations look forward to integrate their search capabilities with the growing AI systems. So in this video, you will first understand briefly about what is model context protocol, how does it help, and then I will show you how to configure the open search MCP server for QCLI. Then we will get into a live demo where I will query data from open search service domain in real time right from my VS Code terminal using the QCLI. Now let's understand what is model context protocol and what benefit it brings. In today's world of growing agentic AI applications, assume there are M AI agents that needs to connect to an open search service domains to build additional context by referring the data sitting in those domains. Traditionally, you will have to write or build this one-to-one -one connectivity between each AI agent to the open search domain, and that will result in M into N connections. Now, with the help of MCP, you can build a centralized component that will hold the boilerplate coding for the connectivity, and that will simplify the M into N connections into M plus N connections. Let's take a little closer look into this centralized piece. So it is mainly made of an MCP server, which is a lightweight program written or built to invoke the REST APIs of Amazon Open Search Service Domain. On the other hand, it has an MCP client, which works as an adapter for AI systems to invoke the functionalities of the MCP server. Both this client and the server interact on JSON RPC protocol, which has its own advantages. Let me walk you through the key benefits of this pattern. First, you get a standardized way to set up connections between your AI systems and open search domains or collections. Second, it's really simple to manage multiple data sources. You just need a few lines in your configuration file to connect to different open search domains. Third, your AI systems can take full advantage of what open search does best like efficient search capabilities with fine-grained access control without having to rebuild any of those sorting or scoring techniques from scratch. And finally, since you can host the MCP server on scalable AWS services like Amazon ECS or Lambda, you don't have to worry about handling increased load. The system can scale automatically. While working with a MCP server, you'll come across these components. So let's understand them briefly. First one are resources. Resources are any kind of data that needs to be exposed to your AI agents to help them build additional context. It can be structured or even unstructured data. The second one are prompts. You might observe that the AI agents perform better when you supply the instructions in a specific structure or sequence. And if it's a repetitive interaction with your AI system, you might want to use prompts to define those instructions in form of reusable templates or workflows. The last one are tools. Through tools, MCP server exposes the executable functionality to their clients. Through tools, AI agents can leverage the specialized functionality of the external system, like invoking REST API of Amazon Open Search Service. Let me tell you about the standalone Open Search MCP server that I'm going to use in my demo. First, it is part of the open source Open Search project, meaning it's community driven and community supported. 
Being part of this larger ecosystem means you benefit from continuous improvements, security updates, and innovations driven by developers worldwide who are actively contributing to the open search project. Second, it supports both standard I.O. and streaming protocols, giving you the flexibility in how you want to communicate with your open search domains. Third, it comes with a comprehensive set of read-only tools for data search, monitoring, and analysis. As of the time of this recording, the core tools let you perform essential operations like data search and viewing cluster health while additional tool provide deeper insight into performance metrics, node status, and index analytics. Since this is an active open source project, new tools may be added in the future, so I encourage you to check the latest documentation for updates. And finally, it provides robust security options. You can authenticate using basic authentication, you can use IAM role-based access, or you can use AWS credentials and AWS CLI profiles. This flexibility means you can choose the security method that best fits your organization's requirements and compliance needs. Now, enough theory. Let's see how this works in the real world with a demo. Before we get started, I want to go over a few prerequisites that you will need for this demo to work. You will need to have an AWS account with proper access, a secure Amazon Open Search Service domain that's already up and running, and you should have the Amazon QCLI configured in your VS Code instance with successful authentication. One more thing. You will need an IAM role with the right permissions to list and query data from the indexes in your open search domain. Make sure you have set up necessary backend role mapping for this IAM role as well. Don't worry if you need help in setting any of this up. I have included all the relevant documentation links in the video description below to guide you through these prerequisites. All right. Now that we have covered the prerequisites, let's see this in action. As you can see, I'm into my open search dashboards and I've already installed the sample data that is coming with every open search installation. For today's demo, I will be using the sample e-commerce orders. Now let me walk you through the configuration that enables my QCLI to talk to this open search domain using the open search mcp server now i am in the terminal window of my local vs code instance where i have opened the file mcp.json in this file i have configured the open search mcp server with very simple configuration as you can see in the argument i'm passing the open search mcp server and in the environment variable, I'm passing my Amazon Open Search Service Domain Endpoint as the Open Search URL. Now I'm using the AWS Credentials option for authentication and authorization. So I have created a local AWS CLI profile using the AWS credentials of the IAM role that is configured to list and query data from my open search domain. Now let's see whether the QCLI is able to use this and using the open search MCP server, it is able to talk to my open search domain or not. So I will go into another terminal window of my VS Code instance and to start the session with QCLI, I will type command QChat. As you can see in the start of the session, it will first try to load the MCP server that is described in the mcp.json file. In my case, that is only one server, the AOS MCP server, and it is able to load it successfully. As I can see a small green tick in front of the MCP server. Now, another way to make sure whether your QCLI has 
access to the tools from your MCP servers is with the help of command slash tools. Now you can see my QCLI instance has access to some built-in tools and on top of that it has access to the tools from OpenSearch MCP server. Now let's see with the help of this tool if the QCLI is able to connect to the OpenSearch domain or not. So I will start with a very simple query list indexes from open search as you can see with the help of the list index tool it is able to bring me the indexes from my open search domain and it is also able to identify that there is a data index apart from the system indexes and that index belongs to the sample e-commerce data. Now let me ask a question that would require QCLI to use the tools to search data from my open search domain. So I will write as, can you list top five product categories on basis of sales data? As you can see, this time it leveraged the tool, search index tool, to run an aggregation query to bring the data as per my requirement. So it is able to list down the top five product categories on basis of the total order value, and it is also displaying the number of orders alongside. I hope this demo has been helpful. We have covered the key concepts of Open Search MCP Server and seen how it bridges the gap between AI systems and your Open Search domains. As you saw in the demo, with just a few lines of configuration, you can make your Amazon Open Search workloads accessible to AI systems like Amazon Q. It's really that straightforward. I have included helpful links in the description below for those who want to dive deeper into this topic. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more technical content like this. If you have any questions or feedback, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to hear from you. Thank you for watching.